this a worm? See small scales along its sides. It is a reptile. This is a blind snake. Blind snakes are distinguishable as snakes because of their forked tongue. That, and just like other snakes, their forked tongue leads into their Jacobson's organ, which is on the roof of their mouth. The Jacobson's organ can help them find prey, prey insects like termites and cockroaches, also ant larva and crickets, and pretty much any soft-bodied insect is fair game. Blind snakes are one of the only two snakes which, tear, which dismember their victims. And the other snake that dismembers their victim is the crab-eating snake. And the blind snake will eat pretty much anything, dismembering it and only eating the abdomen. This is because the rest of the, rest of the insect is all just hard exoskeleton. Well, if a blind snake goes for the abdomen, then it gets a nice amount of food that can just, that can ingest, and then it gets all of that protein. Blind snakes also only have a bottom, only have their bottom teeth. This helps in tearing apart their victim, because the bottom, to, bottom jaw can move backwards and forwards, creating a type of tearing action. So if so if an animal if an animal went inside of that and they have a hard top of their jaw and then they tear the animal to shreds and rub it against pieces of wood to kind of break off their off their head and the legs and the thorax as well Blind snakes are commonly found heating up underneath rocks after a long day's sunlight has, beat it, has beaten down upon the rocks. This makes the rocks hot, and then the blind snake can heat up with the heat of that rock, and then can continue it along its way, eating. Blind snakes need this heat to digest their food. If they don't get that heat, from those rocks, then they'll just, then their guts will just become rancid with rotting bugs, and then they'll just die. Blind snakes, just like worms, live underground most of their life. This blind snake here is, is only a baby, about two months old. And they go very fast in their first few months. When, the, when he hatched, he was in an egg that was, about, that was about the size of a rice grain. Blind snakes lay, cl lay clutches of seven to eight eggs. And they, they fiercely protect their eggs for, for two days. The blind snake can, can be commonly found in the galleries and labyrinths of its victims. Some blind snakes even make the same noise as little grubs and hiding inside of the grubbing chamber. And they, and they get delivered food. And, and the blind snake can eat, can have a constant supply of larvae. These Australian snakes can be commonly found in flower pots. This earns them another name, the flower pot snake. Ants tend to make their nests in flower pots. If you're potting up another plant, you may be able to find one of these little tiny snakes. Snake's only two defences are its cryptic habits of digging through the un through the earth, and even if a predator manages to find it, it, it releases a musk out of its vent. This musk can smell like dog poo mixed with rotting, stinking old tyres that are on fire. 
This works as quite a good defense, and most predators are quite quickly repulsed by it and drop the snake. These snakes also dig very fast, and they can escape the predator. The smallest snake in the world is a, is a blind snake. Its name is the Barbados Thread Snake. Maximum length is four centimeters, and it, and it's and it's and its width is half a millimeter, meaning that it can comfortably curl up on a fifty cent coin, which is absolutely minuscule. The one that I've got here is an Australian blind snake. It'll grow at most twenty to thirty centimeters. So next time you find a worm, look closely at it and see if it has little scales and a flickering tongue. If it has these traits, it is not a worm and it is a blind snake.